Have you ever said to yourself, I wish I knew back then what I know now? Boy, I'd do things differently. You know, as we get older, we realize that we've made many mistakes in the past, and we didn't know it then. We have regrets, but there's not much we can do about it. And we decided to live our lives differently. One of my friends who's approaching 80 made an important point. He said, when we realize that we have fewer years left and then those we have already lived, we need to make some changes in our lives beginning today. Well, what are the things I wish I knew then that I know now that I wish I knew as a younger man? Here's a few. First of all, time flies. You know, as we get older, time seems to go by so quickly. You know, I can remember in high school watching the clock and it just seemed like the school day would never end. But yet, in summer vacation seemed to go by so quickly. As older adults, we wish the clock would slow down a bit. We realize that if we're going to make changes in our lives, we have to do it right now. Number two, we realize that money doesn't equal success. As a businessman, I've met many wealthy people with absolutely miserable lives. And I've met a lot of people with modest means who are happier and have real joy in their lives. We spend our adult lives accumulating money and we haven't enjoyed family and friends or made memorable experiences. At some point, we may be too old physically or too physically challenged to begin. Number three, kids grow up quickly. We spend our youth chasing money and success and we sacrifice the wonder and joy of watching our children grow. Those years from babies to toddlers to teens to adults, we can never get back. Number four, relationships are everything. Making memories with our spouse is one of the ways we keep our relationship fresh. And those memories will sustain us as we get older and lose our mobility. Our relationship with God is our most important relationship. And next to that, our relationship with our spouse and children and extended family and friends. Take some time to nurture these relationships. It can be as simple as a weekly call to your mother to say, I love you. Number five, knowing about God is important, but not as important as knowing God personally. Churches overflow with older people seeking a personal relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Number six, prayer isn't only for bad times. You know, we pray when times are bad, but there's nothing wrong with prayers of thanksgiving when things are going well. Number seven, align yourself with people who share your values. Younger adults spend their time sometimes trying to impress others, and many of those other people don't share the same values that we do. Uh, often, often, as young people, we compromise our values to kind of fit in with the crowd. Relationships are much stronger with people we share our values with. And number eight, admit your mistakes. You know, we're all gonna make mistakes. Younger adults spend so much time defending their mistakes. The effect is uh, lingering. It lasts a long time. In business, we have a, a saying, fail fast. Admit your mistakes, learn from them. It's part of the process of gaining maturity and just move on. Knowing what we know now that we didn't know then, what changes can we make? What can we do differently? What can we do beginning today? Well, beginning today, we can spend more time with our family. For starters, we can plan a weekly date night with our spouse or give up that poker night for a movie night with the kids. Might be fun. Beginning today, we're going to put our relationships before our pursuit of money. Bigger house, more expensive car, Rolex watch are not going to guarantee our happiness. Beginning today, we're going to spend more time with our children and grandchildren. We're going to collect memories that will last a lifetime. And beginning today, we're gonna to pursue a personal relationship with Jesus. All that we have is a gift from God and expressing our gratitude in prayer is important. Beginning today, we're gonna to admit our mistakes. We're gonna make a vow to make the changes necessary 
to live a life of character and integrity. How about you? Can you think of a few other things that you'd want to do beginning today? What are you going to do beginning today? This is Tony Agnesi.